Hi all. Summer is here and July 4th weekend is just ahead. And here we are again and again and again in the same way that I went to kindergarten and first grade. And in first grade, although it possibly was second grade, I had a teacher, Miss R. And did I have a crush on her? And she knew it. And she took me under her wing. And she would say to me, Charles, you're gonna do it again and again and again and again until you got it right. And because I had a crush in her, I accepted those limits that she set on me. And I did have some success. Well, the same lesson is true here. The difference is that we are in control and that as long as we take care of ourselves and make ourselves important in our own lives, we will truly be successful. Food is wonderful, but the way we deal with food is a matter of escaping emotional pressures that we feel because we've learned over the years that by putting something in our mouths, we feel that exuberance of acting out against. But we're not accepting that we're acting out against ourselves. If we act out against ourselves, then not only are we alienated from ourselves, but we're also telling the child within us that we as adults don't feel important enough in our own lives to take the child in hand and prove to it that we love it so that it too can not only have security but enjoy the fact that when we feel successful we feel so wonderful. Let's rehash the possibilities for the weekend. Number one the food component of the program tells you to have one meal, salad, vegetables, up to seven ounces of protein, and the rest, salad. In my case, I'm doing something similar, but more concrete. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I bought a grate that closes and I'm going to use the grate to barbecue vegetables on that grate, putting it on the grill so that the vegetables will not fall through. For me, just peppers, tomatoes, and onion. But then I did something else that's really exciting. I took a gallon baggie and I've filled it with carrots, peppers, and celery. I went to the supermarket and I bought the Good Seasons Ranch and I'm going to make an avocado ranch dressing using less water in the avocado to make it into a true dip. 
and the entire time that I'm there, I'm going to keep that bag of chewables in my hand and I'm going to use it. A gallon is a lot. That gallon will get me through. Getting through will make me feel good. Making me feel good will make it easier to do it the next time. It's only July 4th. It'll be back again. Next year and the year after. But when I finish July, I'm going to be much happier with myself and the child within me is going to be happier with me. Come on, guys. Do it. Walk away from July 4th having a feeling of success and we'll celebrate together. Take care.